Sebastian, can you sit in the middle, please? Okay. Is this what the people want? Okay, no, I'm having that cushion. No, I'm having that yeah. cushion. Yes. This is where 50p's yeah. end up. Yeah, okay. We haven't got any 50p's yet, because it's a brand new sofa. Yep, that's lovely. That's yeah. my drink. Oh, you were going for the first. Um... Right. Look, yeah, because you're in full view. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Welcome back to um, my channel. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, it's been a little while since we did some Buffy because we've been running around London, yeah. haven't we, guys? Yeah. Becoming runners up of the Amazing Race London 2019. Yeah, we did such a good job, didn't we? Yeah. I really enjoyed my performance watching it back. I re oh, sorry, you go. You go. I was just because I really carried Ashley throughout. Just watch the link and you'll see. I was uh, the, at the very <laughs> end of the race. Um, Ashley said to Sebastian, what have we learned? And I realised what I've learned is that Sebastian can get places on time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, and I learned a lot about, um, well, we were favourites to come, you know, last. And Second we, last. Papers not winning yeah. last. Against the two girls. Yeah. And um, we didn't. And, you know, we, we beat our nemesis. So... <laughs> Right. Well, do you know what? Nobody likes rival gays, do they? No, I meant Kenny and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't beat your nemesis there. Right, anyway, moving on. Um, so we're up to episode seven. Hang on, wait. Um, it's really nice to see you. Hope you've had a really nice time over the past couple of weeks. Um, I know you probably missed us a huge amount. Um, but don't worry, if you've got abandonment issues, um, <laughs> there is probably support available. But we're back and it's really nice to be back, actually. On our and new sofa. Hang on, look what we've got, exactly. A new sofa, everyone. Make way, so people yeah, can just see. Yeah, I'll just You get out there. So this is, um, this is a soft grey chenille. It's sort of like um, a blend of corduroy. Um, and we've got this lovely black black throw. Um, black throw. It's like mysterious. Oh. We've got red and black and white yeah. cushions. Um, um, and on the floor. Oh, is this, yeah. Does that work? Yeah. Is yeah. that rug uh, that goes nicely with it? Yeah. Um, we have to make sure this is right though. Yeah, that's good. From the yeah. Joyce Summers collection. <laughs> So yeah, so we've got a whole we've got a whole new setup for you, which is why we've been away for a little while. Because <laughs> it took three weeks. It took three weeks to design the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, episode seven of season two. I literally have no. Was it Halloween the last one? Yes, Halloween. Oh, Do you yeah, remember what happened? I remember what happened in that one. Do you remember what happened? Yeah. Yeah, and there was stuff at the very end where um, uh, Giles was. Uh, this, there, like there was this guy from his past, isn't there? That that English Ethan. Guy. Yes. Yes. Ethan was there. Um, and uh, Buffy became a uh, princess. Yes. Willow was a ghost. Cordelia remained Cordelia, but in a cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> and we're seeing Osmo. Osmosis, you might say. And, um, do you remember Oz? Yeah. Oh, Oz! Oz. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought Osmo was the name of a person. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, oh. Um, right, anyway, yeah. should we just get on with it and see what happens? Yeah. This is called Lie to Me. Would you lie to me, baby? Would you lie to me? No! <laughs> Are you lost? Oh, it's her. No. I'm not just supposed to pick me up as well. I'm not supposed to talk to people. Uh, well, I'm not a person, see? So that's just... Gee! Run home. <gasps> Yeah, go, Angel. Poor little thing. She has no idea what's in store. This can't go on, Drusilla. <laughs> well, if anything's gonna wipe Buffy up, <laughs> that is it. Creepy! Do you want to push up the door? Shut the door. <laughs> Do you like the music? Oh, the um. Yeah, I think so. Do you own anything else? That sounds like fun. I like how much okay, more right? in control of our relationship she is than him. Like he's always he's really nervous about it. Yeah, isn't he? Okay, that'd be nice. Yeah. You can spend some time with Angel. <laughs> 
Just wait and write him. Mm. I just don't see why everyone's always picking on Marie Antoinette. Mm -hmm. I can so relate to her. She worked really hard to look that good. <laughs> She's gonna let them have cake? <laughs> yes, well, that's a very interesting perspective. I don't know. I mean, she's I obviously so. a vampire. She's pretty friendly. Yeah. Who's friend? She yeah. stood there yeah. with Angel, who is a vampire. Yeah. He's wearing the man you kit. <laughs> I don't think that is a man you get. No, just a Dread. Craniest dance party, the Bronx. It does look like a football top. It's very Liverpool FC for yeah, the 80s, actually. The with the candy. It's not man you, is it? I don't know football. Not yeah. Oh my god, I love this guy. Who is he? Yeah. Now, he then went on to star in his own series, did he not? What's his actual name? Nice to meet you. Jason Bear. Uh, Ford and I went to Henry together in LA. And now you're here. For real? Danny yeah, Bear's brother? Boom, you just threw someone there. Yeah. His eyes are so good. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I moped over you for months. His hair is not good. Sitting in my room listening <laughs> to that divinal song, I touch myself. We're going to the Bronze, it's the local club, and you have to come. I'd love to. Oh, but that bloody you club. Yeah, I hate the bronze. Oh, I can't, the if they have to play okay, one more guitar band, <laughs> his eyes are really feminine though. Yeah, he's got long eyelashes, but he's the same, this isn't he? Ford. Well, him, they've yes. got beady eyes. Yeah, but he's got really um, thick, dark eyebrows, and that masculines them up. Mm. I think Xander's looking hotter and hotter all the time. I quite fancy him now, like properly fancy him now. You look a bit like Xander. Like Xander. Mm. I also kind of fancy him, probably. You want that soda after all? Not for Steve. Hey, Angel. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you? <laughs> we went to school together in LA. He to... looks like your yeah. brother. And boy, does he yeah, look fast. Fast. He looks like Edward. Well, Angel, we could still play. Who? Xander? No. Uh, yeah. You made him do that thing where he's gone. I don't think he looks like And you were both born on the 1st of September. So that I don't look like your and brother. And so was Nicholas Brendan. No. Uh, it wasn't. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh so good. I thought you were just slaying a vampire. What? How does he know? I know what? I know, Buffy. You don't have to lie. I I've been trying to figure out the right time to, to tell you. I know you're the slayer. Just like that, he told you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Every scene. Oh, she does every time. Wow. But how does he know? What does he know? Who does he know? More to the point. Oh, why does he know? No, who does he know? <laughs> Stop using different question words. <laughs> when does he know? <laughs> Whomsoever should he know? <laughs> This is a better club, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is where they should take him. Yeah, this is the gay club. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The sauna is to the left, everyone. Just make sure you're ready when I say. That is such Trouble bad air. The blonde one. Oh my god, it's awful. Right, yeah. Yeah. She can't decide whether she wants straight go. or no. Yeah, trust me. It's intriguing. Oh, I love isn't this it? episode already. It's yeah. intriguing. It's going really well. What do you think is happening? No idea. Well, you know. no, but he wants to differ forever, doesn't he? Like, like yeah, so they're not. So he... That's not like a real. That's just a fancy oh. dress place, right? Where they're having fun. Well, isn't it? Well, this is a bad time. I want you to track someone down on the net. Oh, great. Oh, God. Something that girl. Whoever gave you that terrible velvet shirt. <laughs> 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 Are you drinking coffee again? So we talked about this. <laughs> 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 I have to go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice well, he's very beautifully yeah, sinister, isn't he, this around. guy? I think they put eyeliner on him as well. I don't know, because it's the same in the other thing that I've seen him in. It's like a permanent... Suddenly. He knows you knew. Oh, uh, right then. But uh, just uh, remember if you go. Experience this thing called fun. 
Crisis. So which is an awesome, how do you not agree? Yeah. But yeah. Who like, told you? That was our first question. Oh, you told us oh, not to ask questions. Yeah. No, but you asked me so many questions, I got confused what the question was. Oh my god. Well, it's... Okay. That was good. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, do you know what? If you have kids, that honestly, are you going to tell me to shut up? Oh <laughs> my god! It's <laughs> still here. Right? Yeah. Hear it? I don't think so. Oh, flexible. Oh. So he wants to be a vampire, right? Where's the other one? You don't have to be so confrontational about it. Other viewpoints than yours may be valid, you know. She's got bad, bad hair and bad acting. <laughs> These people don't know anything about vampires. What they are, how they live, how they dress. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You know, I love a good day trip. Uh, my own research is... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so the girl you let go? Yeah. 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 That's the vampire force that he killed. Good observation, Buffy. Yeah, she's improving, isn't she, that girl? The bird's dead, Drew. They left it in a cage, and didn't feed it, and now it's gone. He's going to stop me! He's suddenly going to stop me! Hey, you! I'm sorry, baby. They left it in the cage. Bad, rude man. You make me a vampire, and I'll give you the slayer. <laughs> I don't know if I trust you. Maybe you shouldn't do either. Maybe I'm the one who should decide. Killed everybody she loved. Visited every mental torture on her I could devise. Well, that was a good scene. Mm. Found out a lot there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Do you want to go out again tonight? Not busy. It's going to be fun. I mean, you couldn't, <clears throat> couldn't have made that more creepy yeah. as an invitation. Mm. Angel is in your bedroom? Ours is a forbidden love. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think they'll bless us? I know they will. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god, god, that makeup. She's like Melissa Joan Tart. Your friends, they came <laughs> last night, two guys and a girl. You were going to offer them a treat. I don't think I want to talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, I still feel awfully chatty. You were going to give them me tonight. <laughs> oh, exactly, you're alive. Oh, did you see Aaron Carter in there? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Carter, oh my god. <laughs> You've seen him recently. Yeah, it's really sad. There's gotta be another way out of here. Okay, that's it. I think we should get her. I think you should try. <laughs> she takes us. I am trying to save you. I want a tree. I need a tree. <laughs> <laughs> She's so creepy. Lord, these people don't deserve to die. Well, neither do I. But apparently no one took that into consideration because I'm still dying. Oh. I think I got maybe six months left and by then oh. what they bury won't even look like me. It's gonna ask about the Brittany pills. Yeah, good girl, Ford. Yeah, I'm with him. I'm yeah. with as well, if yeah. that's an option. Did I screw up your righteous anger rift? Yeah. Does the nest of tumors liquefy my brain? Can I spoil the fun? No, what you're doing is still very wrong. Yeah. I mean, it is wrong, you technically. 24 hours straight because the pain in your head Well, last so week she went underage drinking or whatever, so... Well, who's crazy. Who is she to judge? <laughs> Isn't this exactly how you imagined it? You tell me how you suffered and I feel sorry for you. Well, I do feel sorry for you, and if those vampires come in here and start feeding, I'll kill you myself! That was some of her best acting, I think, that she's done. Yeah. Really like that speech. This is not the mothership, people! This is ugly death come to play! Oh! <clears throat> I mean, he definitely missed her. Save them all! Save the slayer for me! Oh my god! Everybody stop! Good idea. 
idea. Will you let everybody out or your girlfriend fits in an ashtray? Ashley, I know you like to wait, actually, didn't you? Um, I did really like that episode. I thought um, it's quite different to all the other episodes that we've seen, actually. I think so too. I thought um, I thought the the ending where like he revealed his condition, yeah, um, it was very emotional, very poignant, actually. And I thought, you know what? I've often thought about the idea of like the idea of being a vampire being a very attractive thing. So I thought it was quite an interesting thing to bring into this storyline, actually, into yeah. this series. Um, that there is something really appealing about, like, because everyone is mortal, everybody wants the idea at some point of, like, being alive forever, even if that means not really being yourself. It's quite attractive. Yeah, lots of people talk about... Uh, I think most people, if you say to them, do you want to live forever, they normally go, no. But mm. I also... But I think... If you're having a really good day, yeah, and someone asks you that question, yeah, I think I'd be like, mm. yeah, I would. And it's not just living old, g- living and getting old mm. and older and older and older. Lots of people say, oh, I don't want to live forever because mm. I know I'm not getting really, really old. Yeah, but when you're a vampire, you don't even get yeah. that. And you get to do, and you get to do things which, as a human, you, you're morally not allowed to do. So, so I think part of the attraction of being a vampire is that, like, you have you you have all of this like. Nasty, <laughs> gross, evil, uh, bad stuff available to you at your fingertips. I think that's a bit that doesn't appeal to me, really. Well, I think that's part of the appeal. I think that's the. I think that's the best bit. What killing people? Well, yeah, because no, I think that's. A, I think that's a really strong fantasy, but not for me. <laughs> not for me specifically. Cool, not for me specifically. <laughs> but look, that's why people watch horror, and that's what people like crime dramas and things. Is people. People have this, like, people do have a need to, like, explore, like, the darkest bits of humanity and maybe really being a vampire um, embodies Yeah, that. I, I get what you mean, because it's like uh, safe voyeurism. So I listen to loads of murder podcasts, but I don't want to murder or be murdered. Um, I think it was more about, like, cults, though, wasn't it? So, like, the nature of being in a cult and why lonely people get together and believe in strange things like that so I thought that was well handled and I thought it was um, it's a really good episode I think I really liked it as well I kind of wish I know this sounds a bit morbid yeah I kind of wish that everyone had been killed though in that yeah way. me too yeah. I feel yeah. it would have had more impact yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't think they needed to let them go no particularly Melissa Joan Tart she could have died <laughs> because when you think about cults and we, we've quite we've w- watched a lot of stuff about cults like I don't know if you have as yeah. well actually yeah. but like yeah. Like it's the natural ending. They do, they do. They you don't yeah. get out of that. No, generally. Have you seen yeah. the one called? I think we saw Heaven's Gate. Yeah, where yeah, 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 yeah. they're filmed doing their goodbye videos, and when they gave the lines to the people like Melissa Joan Tart, um, <laughs> what she was saying was exactly what the people who died in the Heaven's Gate cult were saying. That it's a better place and they're really happy. Higher level of consciousness. Yeah, that I was a little yeah. bit. I was a little bit distracted by her lines because I didn't really, because like. She wasn't very good at saying them. Mm. Um, yeah, the whole um, like I know I know like people get annoyed with us for saying this, but like, but James Master's accent 
is still shit. <laughs> like, I mean, how can people not have picked up that he wasn't English? Like, it's, it's, I mean, I'm not, I really, I enjoy his performance <laughs> on the whole, and yeah. I enjoy the character, but it is astonishing to me that anyone thinks that his voice sounds like... Right. I suppose particularly English people. I could forgive, I can forgive it when people from, like, Australia, yeah, or, like, absolutely. America, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. that's a fair stab. But like when English people are like I didn't notice, I'm like, how did you not notice? It's astonishing uh, because because it's not it, because actually it's not terrible. But what he does is he jumps between four or five different English Quite accents, pronounced accents, which no English <laughs> person would do. Yeah. So it, it makes no sense. Well, I think I do that too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Australian. <laughs> yeah. But I never thought he wasn't English. Whereas she, um, she is English though. No, she's not. Drusilla. She's not. I don't think she's yeah. American. She's American. She's not. She's American. No, she's. <laughs> but she. She's at least even consistently though, chosen yes, as, it's, as something. It's a consistently cheesy accent yeah. that she's gone for. A bit Dick Van Dyke ish. But, like, but it's the same it all the way through, yeah. which is actually much better. Yeah. 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 I'm not moaning about it mm. before you all get really defensive because I know you all get very defensive about that. But it is astonishingly bad in places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's quite a pendulum swing from uh, an attempt at, like, like a straightforward, like, like oh, received he. pronunciation yeah, yeah, yeah. accent through to Cockney. But it's when it goes... It's sort switches, of South Africa. It goes from South Africa to Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. But anyway. It's quite um, entertaining, to be honest. I thought that was an interesting episode because, like, the... Um, the like the overall tone of it was quite like um, quite quiet, wasn't it? It's not like yes. a lot of dramatic things happen. So yes. I found it quite compelling because it wasn't it wasn't trying to like scare me. I found it. There wasn't I, loads of big. Set it was pieces, very was internal. There? Yeah, mm. and I, I really I really liked that. And it's interesting again that like Joss Whedon has written an episode yeah. and directed an episode which. I love his Which episodes. works very well just on its own. I love his episodes. Yeah, yeah, I think I they're the best too. ones because yeah. he gets the characters yeah. and you can really feel it. When I see his name at the start, I'm always like, yes. Yeah. Um, one thing, I, I, though, I didn't like Angel the first season episode as much. No. You know, you didn't like him very no. much either. But, um, but what I was going to say, as much as I love the team always doing stuff together, I kind of liked the fact that this episode, Buffy, Buffy did the whole yeah. finale on her them. own. She didn't need them, yeah. and that was good as well. Yeah, and I really, I really like Willow, Willow, Willow slippers. So I those, mean, those little touches. So Willow, Willow slippers were a highlight. Yeah, it's very really good. And Cordelia's speech about Marie Antoinette, I really like. Yeah, I think about that a lot sometimes. I, I, um, <laughs> I like the fact that she still, you know, she enjoys her. Books. Yeah, exactly. She might have studios. a different opinion on that yeah. internet to most people. So but that's yeah. again where she makes sense again. So she's not. So she's aware, and she might. And she's not stupid. But sometimes in this, so far this series, there, yeah. there have been times when the, the writer has stupid. misunderstood what they're trying to do yeah. with Cordelia, and he's brought it back to she isn't unintelligent. Yeah. yeah, she's just got a very defined viewpoint on what's right and wrong, and it's all. Like filtered through her. Yes, okay. absolutely. And, uh, yeah, and I he, really identify. He got her right again this episode. Yeah. Even though she was only in that one and scene. Actually, but. I've got to say for Angel, I know that, again, we've, we've talked about how much people don't like him, but I really like him now. I, I never disliked him as much as, as you two did, to be honest. But um, I, I've always not minded him. And I'm a bit like, now he's adding a new I, value I, to the programme. Uh, just in response to that, I think for me, what I don't like so much is that in a show about, like, a feminine, me- a female character who's the best and the hit heroine, that he kind of plays a counterpart to that. I just wish that she was just on her own, almost, because he does also significantly help save the day sometimes. Well, that's like Tuxedo Mask in Sailor Moon. <laughs> and did you also notice Yeah, it is that, like Tuxedo Mask. Did you also Mask. notice, I know we haven't talked about this for a while, but Drusilla nails black white teeth. <laughs> no, we didn't. Did you notice not notice that? that? Didn't notice well, that. that. Yeah, signifier of her dark past. I'm still not a fan of Angel um, on the whole, and yeah, I think he's just lighting up. It's it's good when he's funny, which is a very rare. I mean, it's. I mean, I, I know he's a vampire. Yeah. So this so this phrase makes sense, 
but he just seems so dead behind the eyes the whole yeah, time. Yeah. As in, I don't think it's Angel that's dead behind the eyes. Yeah. But there we go. Again, it's an unpopular viewpoint, I know. Full of them. Right, scoring, stakes out of ten. Um, I'm going to give that... Um, I'm going to give that an eight. I'm going to give it an eight. I thought it was very well realised. And I give it an eight as well. What else did we give three eights to? And there was an episode which we gave... Was it yeah. Halloween? Yeah, I think so. It might have been. That was the last episode. I thought it was way better than Halloween, though. See, oh. mm, I think it's... I don't think it's... I think it's different, but I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a step above. Uh, yeah, other s- things we've seen. I think it's it's texturally, emotionally, tonally like different, but it's not like bam. That's a ten for me. Yeah, it's strong. I, I was thinking to myself before I was to give it a nine. I was at eight or nine in my head, and yeah, I ca- I can't give it the nine. I want to give it an eight point five, but we're not doing point yeah. five. Yeah, so it's what it missed for me was to make it a, like a brilliant episode. It needs to have the combination of like that la- layer of frothy camp when everything comes together. All my favorite mm. bits of Buffy smush up into a brilliant episode, and it was missing that almost there with like Melissa Jones' heart and the outfit. C- but sh- that's not what I need. That's a bit too like brassy. I could happily give a ten to something that doesn't have the camp elements if it was. Right. I, I, like I said, if they killed all those people, I actually, I, I don't know, yeah. that sounds awful, but I think I'm probably have given it a nine. Yeah. It would have just added a bit of an emotional yeah, impact. Yeah, you're right. Where yeah. they'd all been led down that road, and yeah. then they just got killed for nothing. Yes, that's what stops it being a brilliant episode, is like like I said, it's 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 all quite level, yeah. and there, is, there isn't like a big payoff They could have had way. one moment where yeah. they were all just dead. Yeah. Or uh, just, just you know, oh my God, quite maybe, impactful. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, anyway, right. That's the end of that one. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Yeah. And uh, if you liked the video, then like the video um, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you really like the video and Ashley's hair, then <laughs> you can sign up to my Patreon. Um, and the link for that is below as well. See you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.